aisle, I'm going to do something a, a little different today. It's just uh, something I've, I've come up with uh, in the past few days. First thing I want to do is brown six strips of thick cut bacon. Right now I'm going to um, separate some eggs and I'm going to use uh, six for this part right now. I'm making uh, basic oopsie rolls from uh, Clea Chacho's recipe. Uh, however, I did not have cream cheese one day and tried it without them and I didn't notice a great big difference. So I've not used cream cheese in them since and it saved me a little bit of carbohydrates. I've got two bowls for separating and one for uh, uh, my egg whites. And what I'm going to do is I'll crack this on the side, open it, and let the yellow, I'm sorry, the white fall and toss this back and forth a little bit and put my yellow here. And since I have no yellow in here, I can go ahead and put this in here. And I repeat this process with each of my eggs. Okay, my bacon is uh, crisp and I'm going to set that aside now. To my yellows, I'm going to add either three packs of whatever sweetener you choose or I'm going to do about six or seven drops of stevia. Okay. That ought to be enough, and you can also, you know, do this and add one packet of sweetener, and I probably will. And there is something about mixing the sweeteners that amplifies the taste of each one. Okay, and to this I'm also going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon. Using up a little jar here and uh, wait a minute, I'm doubling my recipe. I need two teaspoons of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. That's there it is. And half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Okay, and just going to stir that in and kind of go slow. It takes spices a minute to want to incorporate into eggs. So if I just up and start beating this real fast, they'll just go flying out the edge. And I'm going to get that incorporated. Then I can start getting, you know, you can get violent with it after a minute. And set that aside. To my egg whites, I'm going to add uh, half of a teaspoon of cream of tartar, and I'm going to eyeball this into my lid, and it's about right. Okay, starting on... Uh, low and very quickly accelerating to high. I'll beat these egg whites to stiff peaks and I like to tilt my bowl. It gives me more depth to the liquid than having my bowl straight up. I can turn it straight up once it gets going. And I'm going to start that and I'll be back in a minute. Or probably a few minutes. Hmm. Okay, this is just this is just a point that I wanted to make. These These are at um, stiff peaks. When, there'll be a glossiness on the edge and what I do is I take it just a bit further. I don't worry a lot about drying out my egg whites. When, when you, there, when you see this edge real smooth, what I do is as soon as that edge starts breaking, I quit beating. That is just about it. And I'm going to try to make sure you can see that right here, on this side there's kind of a bumpy texture on it so it is beginning to break and that's all I do with that and so I probably beat mine a little stiffer than most people do I, I don't I, that might be 
wrong and I could be you know bad for doing that but that's what I do okay now I've got my egg mixture that I put the spices and sweetener in and I'm going to put this into my egg whites a third at a time and again this is something I'm not as careful with as most people seem to be I'm going to just pour it across the surface and get about a third of it in there and this is this is what I usually see they won't touch the sides they'll come around and cut through the middle and turn it over and then do that again and that's fine I'm going to do that again looking for where there's a light spot in my batter and go again about a third of it and I just I'm not scared of the sides and I don't know if it has something to do with um, you know altitude I have no idea what it is I'm just not afraid and watch I'm gonna go all the way around and flop it over um, and big old white spot there so I'm gonna scrape this in and I want to show you I'm going to mix this quite a lot more than what I usually see and it's just not going to be a problem and I'm not, you know, stirring. I am folding. Mm -hmm. And, you know, at this point there's some just plain white and some where the spice is. And that's okay. You can stop there. I just don't. You know, did it come down a little bit? Yes. Do I care? No. Mm -hmm. All right. At this point, uh, I've got a uh, some bacon grease there, which is not going to make a difference either. Mm -hmm and I'm going to start putting this out in mounds and you can see it would stand straight up if I wanted it to and I'm probably going to smash that down and put, and I'm probably going to make those bigger so then this is this is a double this is not the usual recipe and I could do this on two sheets and I may, I don't know. And it's not going to hurt if they are stuck together because I'm going to be cutting these up later. In some recipes I just put this on as an entire sheet so it doesn't matter. I know there are people gasping out there who've been making these forever and usually you'd have more space and okay and as far as the don't scrape the bowl terror I'm just getting after it here I don't really care this will go into a 300 degree oven for 30 minutes and I'll see you when that comes out. Okay, back to my bacon. It's cool. Put it on a chopping board and, you know, cut it up with a knife or just do this or, you know, crumble it if you can. Some of the pieces are a little soft, so some of them are not. I could do this. Mm -hmm. um, so, however you get it done, just crumble that stuff. I've got a small casserole here, and I would either use a teaspoon of butter or um, leftover baking grease and uh, grease the dish and you can use a paper towel you know uh, and get that get that done or you know you can go full on country and just do this and get the job done and besides I, I think baking grease is probably you know a beauty treatment and some countries and if it's not it, it is now in my house right now at this moment I, I don't know if I'll do it again but you know that smells sexy so anyway be back shortly okay I've got my mixing bowl uh, clean again and this time I'm going to put three whole eggs in it I'm sorry, do it like this. Crack the edge on the edge very carefully. Take your thumbnails, pull it apart, and drop. Okay. To this, 
I'm going to add four teaspoons of cinnamon. Now you can just take that down to three which is equal to one ta tablespoon. Two, three, four, no, I'm getting close on this, that's about good. And half of a teaspoon of, mm, just the spice is so good to me. I, I'm sorry, I sometimes when I'm cooking I have these moments. And half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And you can do three packets of sweetener or uh, about seven or eight drops of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, I like the mixture, so I'm going to do one package of this. Whatever sweetener you like. I know it looks an awful lot like how I started in the beginning. But it is different. And I need a fork. I'm going to. Let's see. Anything else that I wanted to put in here? I'm just checking real, real quick. I don't believe I'm done. And I'm going to stir this up and I can be a little more violent because it's a bigger bowl. So my spices are still flying, as you can see, but I, I can do this without much trouble. And you can also put ginger in here and have sort of a ginger snap smell or uh, the kind of smell a person might get around Thanksgiving with pumpkin pie and whatnot. Um, and that's mixed up. And I'm going to set that aside and wait for my Lipsy Rolls to get done. Okay. I'm taking my um, spiced Oopsie Rolls out of the oven and they'll look slightly brown and that's only because of the spices. And uh, using a serrated knife, and this can be a bread knife or a steak knife, uh, the only reason I'm using this is because I don't really want to smash these a whole lot while I'm cutting them. And you don't have to be extremely careful with how you do this. I'm going to make sure you can let me start here so you can see. I'm going to do this in about one inch cubes. I'm going to lay the knife on there and cut because these are so light that it's not going to you see the insides and I do have some white and some mixed. Hold it a little bit and then I'm going to go across ways two or three cuts to get approximately one inch cubes. And as I'm oh, cutting to it once there. Look at me. I'm feeling dangerous with this. And I'm going to go very, very fast now that you've seen what I'm doing. Again, I'm not pressing hard. I don't, the point isn't really to crush these. I just want to get them in something like cubes. I'm going to finish that up. I'll be right back. Back to my egg mix. I'm going to take this and Toss it in here. Along with about half of my bacon. And I'd be better to use a spatula for this. And this will be tossed lightly, about as lightly as you did before. And I'm wanting to coat all of this with my uh, wet egg mix. And this will fall some as you do it. But just wanting to get this evenly coated. Hmm. 
All right. And this will. Even losing my fingers. This will go into my buttered or bacon grease casserole dish. It'll fit this size. And there's one that I have that is um, about a 10 inch square. Fit that too. With the smaller one, you're going to end up with a thicker, uh, thicker meal thing here. Now I think I'm going to call this monkey bread or pull apart bread um, because that's what it's most like. Just going to spread that out sort of evenly in there, kind of get the top uh, smooth. And um, aesthetics, you know, I don't. It's not going to matter. It won't make it taste any different. Mm -hmm. So the rest of the bacon, I'm going to put on top, sort of evenly. And this will go uh, back into your 300 degree oven, but this time for 45 minutes. Check it for doneness, if you can see this. But what I want to do is take my knife and just kind of tug at the little pieces and make sure there's no uh, un uncooked egg left in there. And there is not. I'm going to... Uh, Make sure it's just loose from the sides, and it's going to stick a little bit, but, and I could have used a spray, but I didn't. Okay, I've just uh, got a little metal spatula, and I'm taking it in the side and scooting it under, just to loosen it up some, and get a piece of this out. Whoops. That's going to be a pretty good size piece of it there. And from seeing this coming out, I'm going to say let this serve four people. So you're going to get two and a quarter eggs and uh, well, six pieces of bacon. It's going to be like one. Uh, I forget how many. But I'm going to put some butter on this. And just let that melt onto the top and I'm not shy about butter. I want to show you the sides. You can see it here. And show you that you see like pinch bread you can just take a bit and it'll come right off. So um whoops, ate that didn't I? Mm. It tastes good. And you can um um, like I said, just sprinkle it with um, uh, another packet of sugar, use Truvia, whatever. But I'm going to put a drizzle of uh, maple syrup on here and get a fork and that's it.